Yo, 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 yeah, we're back at it again, you know what to do with it is, this is the IVP with Dr. IVZ, we are back, uh, episode 102, um, yeah man, um, how's everyone's week going, how's everyone doing, I hope, hopefully, I think hopefully this looks better, I try to change the lighting and shit, um, hopefully everyone's having a good week, everything's going good, you know what I mean, there's, there's a lot of things to talk to. I talk about talk about um and yo let's get into it right let's get straight up into it all right so i got a rant to go on <clears throat> i got a rant and i don't know if i went on this rant did i go on this rant because i think i did about the velma show did i go in on that i hope i did go in on that i hope i did because I had a whole rant ready to go. Okay, let's put it like this. This, this, is, this is all I'm going to say about the Velma rant. Because they're trashing it online right now, right? Trashing it because the episodes came out. I was trashing it based on like the trailer and all this other shit, right? So now the episodes have come out. And a lot of people are like... Dude, what the fuck? Some people are like... Damn it! And some people are just like... Damn! Because... It makes no fucking sense. So, if you want, if you you want to read the the synopsis of Scooby Doo. I mean, of not Scooby Doo. My bad, Velma. Because Scooby's not even fucking in it. Let me pull it up. Velma synopsis. Velma syn. Uh, no, not synopsis. Um, what was it called? IMDb. Is it IMDb? What, what like, basically. There's a few things that were said that pissed me off a lot, right? And it was the fact that um, the fact that Scooby Doo's not there. That's like number one. Number one, Scooby Doo's not there. Like, what is the point? And there's not even like a teaser. Like, why not even have Scooby as like a puppy, where like he's there but he's not really there, so you don't really have to like, you know what I mean? And then the whole. The whole racial swap thing was very, very fucking pointless. The IP, like, I hate when people ruin IPs and shit because Hanna-Barbera, the people that made Scooby-Doo, they're rolling in their fucking graves watching this shit. They would never want this. They would create a new show with new characters that are like that, that not are like that, but like that are different ethnicities, and they would create a new show with that. They would never fucking... I don't even know if they're racist or not, but they would never fucking create a whole fucking Scooby-Doo shit and then let niggas say, okay, what if we make Velma Indian? What if we make... And I see what they did there. They're going to make the smart one Indian. They're going to make the simp black. A dread black guy is the simp and he doesn't smoke? A dread black guy that's a simp and doesn't smoke. And his name is Norville. You want to know why? You can't name a black guy with dreads Shaggy because of the fucking singer. <laughs> so, like, the singer's name is Shaggy, right? So now they're like, yo, it wasn't me. His name's Norville, a.k.a. Shaggy. Like, what? Because then I think you might get into copyright because I don't even know how you can. But it's kind of, you know what I mean? But, like, what the fuck? So, Daphne is... Uh, I think she's a half Asian drug dealer. And like the reasoning for it is very fucking stupid. Um, the writing is terrible. Very terrible. Um, they made Fred. You know how Fred was like the protagonist? He was like the one leading the group. He was the one, right? But now they wanted to make Velma leading the group. Now, instead of making it Velma leading the group, they got to make it like from Velma's perspective of the group. That would work way better, and people will kind of be a little bit more forgiving. But y'all made Fred look like a fucking giant fucking pussy, yo. I've never seen that before. Like, Fred can't cut a steak. He's rich. Like, he's, like, spoiled and shit, and he acts, they act like he, and then like, they keep saying, oh, Fred has a little penis, he has a micro penis. Now, now, one thing, like, what is with it, with, with, um... I'm going to say like more like like women on the left. What is with y'all and when you diss men, especially men on the right or men just 
conservative manner. You know what I mean? Why do y'all have a tendency, and I'm being for real, why do y'all have a tendency to pull out the micro penis? Pause. Or pull out the fucking you're gay. Like, so you think, you think as a man, as a man, right? Small dick energy, big dick energy. Bro, there's niggas with big dicks that are the most emotional motherfuckers ever. Those are the niggas that will probably fucking murk your ass too. I'm not even saying like that, but you know what I'm saying. Like, we, we need to stop looking at situations and basing it off of what you went through and what you have experienced. You look at the situation and you look at the facts on both sides and then you assess it and you're like, oh, he was just a shitty person. You don't be like, your dick is small, he's gay, he's this, he's that. And I don't know why women have it, like, I'm talking about like the toxic women have a tendency to do that. And some women that aren't toxic, they think it, but they don't say it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're a dude and like, let's say like you like to play around and you like to be like, hey, ow, like, you know, shit, dumb, dumb shit like that. It's flamboyant sometimes, you know, you're drunk, you're chilling, you're vibing, you're doing your thing. You don't really care. You're not here to like check any girls anyways. You're just here to do your thing. Some girls are going to look at you like, yo, ew, who's this guy? This guy's a fucking weirdo. Da, 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 da. So at the end of the day, you can't really get, get fucking too mad about like men. We can't get mad if a girl calls her dick small. And we can't get mad if a girl calls us gay. Especially if we were with the girl. We can't get mad at that. She goes online. She's spreading all this shit. You're better off shutting the fuck up. Not replying. If you have a platform where you could reply. But going back and forth with a chick online. Trust me. It is not. No, 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 no. Going back with a chick, period. It's not good. You should never do that. Um, if you're drunk and you so happen to do that, apologize the next day. Or apologize right then and there. Because, you know, sometimes she gets out of hand. But, like, we need to understand something. That that whole analogy is, is I don't know why, just the low-hanging fruit. But then the same thing with guys. It would be like, yo, you fucking slut. da 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 you're ugly anyways, da, da, da. and then we'll say something that you're insecure about. Oh, you and your fucking big ass nose, and like, and like, you said you like mine, and you know, you know what I mean, like shit like that, but like, that's just a toxic ass relationship. Anyways, I'm saying, stay away from both sides, both people like that. Stay away from people that will insult you once they feel like the love is gone or whatever. Just stay away from them. Turn your back, move on. Stay away. You're better off being quiet and silent. Don't subtweet. Don't do nothing like that because you're adding fuel to the fire. You're better off not subtweeting and shit. The more you subtweet, the more because that person, when a person, when someone does not like you and but they the, but they were fucking with you, they're gonna watch everything you're doing, especially on social media. They're gonna watch everything. They're gonna be like, oh, what is he doing today? Oh, what is he doing now? Oh, I gotta see this. Oh. Oh, he posted this? Oh, okay. Like, that's literally how it is, man. Like, you can't really can't really fuck with these people, man. Because some people just, they don't care. You know what I mean? They don't fucking care. So at the end of the day, it's my bad I was adjusting my mic if you see me looking down. I know it kind of looked weird, eh? Anyways. So, um, end of the day, that's what they said about fucking Fred. So they made Fred a little dick strip, dick bat, a uh, rich kid. That's a fucking pussy. They made Velma, um, cause I'm Indian, no one fucks with me, and I'm a little bit chubby type of shit, and I want to be popular, and I want to fuck Fred, and I also want to fuck Daphne, cause they have to put that other element in there, you know what I mean? The, the, what, what, what is it? Lick, the, the lick bits. I call it ligbits because I can't. I don't want to pronounce all that shit. You guys know what I'm saying. The ligbits. I'm adding both eyes in there, and it's ligbits, and then the Q silent, so it's ligbits. From now, I'm calling it ligbits because it's just that you don't want to. So I don't. Wanna, I'm not doing a spelling contest or abbreviations and shit like that because it's too long. Anyways, so apparently, so then 
they have to have that kind of shit in there so you can fit that demographic, check one box. But then she's also likes Fred, so she's bi, check one box. Then you have this simp Norval who wants her, but she's like, eh, I'm going to use you just so I could use you for what you, what I can get from you. Check one box. Um, they, I still can't believe they made Shaggy anti-drugs and he was like literally, literally... Hey, Scoops, let's go get a snack. Like, literally, niggas high all the time, drunk. He's talking to a dog that's talking back to him. You don't think he's high as fuck? Like, you guys should have... You know that angle? You guys could have had that angle. But anyways, and it's an adult cartoon. So y'all made an adult cartoon where one of the main characters that is, is looked at as a stoner is not a stoner. Because you don't want to make the black guy the stoner. Well, well so like, come on, we, we, why? Are, and why are we acting like only black people smoke weed? That's also another stereotype. Like we're acting like only black people smoke weed, yo. Like that's that's fucking stupid. I know brown. I I know Indians, Mexicans, Brazilians, white people, purple people, Asian people. I know every. Every everybody on every continent, everybody in every country smokes weed, or a variation of that, a variation of a leaf that they can get high off of. Every fucking person has that. Most countries now, it's you smoke weed, you roll up a joint, you smoke some weed. Now it's modernized, right? But back in the day, you chewed on some leaves. You know, there's some leaves that had like a little bit of like them toxins and shit. You chew on them bitches, they get you high. Mushrooms. But now, like, what? It's an adult cartoon. And then you're going to have drug reference jokes in there. So, like, why not just fucking go all the way? And why not just have fucking Scooby-Doo in there? Anyways, what the internet's basically saying is that this project is basically her trying to get back at all the motherfuckers in high school and this is the one thing that really fucking makes me feel uncomfortable high school is from what age 14 to 18 you guys are making a show explicit with nudity barely nudity obviously but explicit with sex nudity men kissing men women kissing women both da -da -da, tongue the fights in the shower with naked women and shit and you guys are barely just covering the nipples in the vagina part doing all that but Shaggy, Norville, my bad, I'm sorry, Norville can't fucking smoke any weed. And these kids are like 16 to 18 that you're basing it off of. So what is with these fucking Hollywood people making these fucking shows about 16 to 18 year olds sucking and fucking and shit, bro? I never really understood that. And I know a lot of people like to watch that shit because it's like reliving high school. Because high school was a little bit like that, but it wasn't like that. I don't know about the state's high schools. I don't know about... Actually, I can't really say that because my experience is a bit different. And I know the shit was happening. I know a lot of shit that was going down. But it wasn't as you could see it so fucking visually. Yeah, there, there's always that couple that always makes out in the corner over there. There's always like the gut, like that type of vibe. Yes, that happens. That's real. That's legit high school. You have people that, you know, they start to dress darker. So they go to the gothic people, more emotional people, right? right? You have the niggas that, that started to, you know, chop, sell drugs and shit. There's those niggas over there. Then you have the niggas that play football. They chill with each other. Then you have the basketball niggas, you know, like the soccer niggas. It's everyone has their own like cliques, right? That's a thing. You have the popular guys that... Guys that everyone knows and everyone fucks with, and they're nice to most people, right? And some of them are assholes, right? Then you have like the athletes that are like they might go state, whatever, like or provincials or whatever. We're in Canada, so so like you guys get what I'm saying, right? It was never really like if people were making out in the hallway, there used to there would be a teacher be like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" Like you know what I mean? But like I don't get this whole like this whole like fascination with watching. Kids that are 19, 20, adults, they're almost adults, they're playing 16 to 18 year olds. That's, I always found that weird. And I always found, why don't you guys make it about college? Instead of thinking like, yo, let's go high school, why not make it college? 
especially if it's an adult cartoon. Why not? Why didn't you guys make it? Yo, this, this gang's in college. And now since the gang's in college, they, they get paired up. So let's say I can make this way better. Watch. They get paired up. So the gang's in college. They, used, they just they hated each other in high school. But now they all of them get dormed up. So Shaggy gets dormed, or Norville gets dormed with fucking um, Velma. Fucking Daphne gets dormed with Fred, right? And then no Scooby-Doo, right? So we got to play it off like it's where it's still trying to do it like them. And then they go, they go, they go, having a talking dog doesn't make an adult cartoon. When there's Family Guy, The Simpsons, there's... How many cartoons where there's fucking talking animals and they're cussing and shit? And, and so you're telling me if there's a fucking talking animal in any fucking cartoon that's in a, considered an adult cartoon, then it's not it? What about Rick and Morty? Like, what? Like, stop trying to justify your fuck up. You fucked up. You got an IP and you fucked up on the IP and people aren't feeling that. So now you guys got to go back to the drawing board. So you guys got renewed for season two. I bet you any money Scooby-Doo's coming in season two. They're going to have to bring in Scooby-Doo and they're going to have to like rewrite the script to change. Like Shaggy's going to start smoking weed. He's going to find out how, how much he likes weed. He's going to find a dog. It, they're going to probably do some shit like that because they need to fix that shit, man. It's so weird. And then Daphne's mom, Daphne has two moms. Um... That's not weird to me. I know that shit. I I I know that shit happens. I know I know people that have like two dads, two moms. We in Toronto, baby. So I didn't know about that, but like you could say what they were trying to do. They tried to make it very liberal, and like people are saying that Mindy Callen has this obsession with white men. I don't know what it is. Um, it's probably deep rooted self hatred, or it's probably like back in the day. When she was coming up, because she was probably coming up, not like 90s, I think, maybe, when she was coming up in school, 80, late 80s, 90s, you know? Right? Like, how old, how old is Mindy, Mindy Callen? Mindy, 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 Mindy Callen. She's a hot topic right now, so she, people are hate watching this shit too. Oh, 1979, so I was right. 10 years later, 1989, she's in school. High school would be the 90s. So in the 90s, she was in high school. Yeah, I could see, I could see why. I could see why she was like, man, fuck these niggas, bro. I could see why. I could, I could see it. I could see it. And when I say fuck these niggas, like, she was probably being made fun of by, like, everybody. You know what I mean? Like, because when I was going to school, everyone got made fun of. Whether you're Chinese, Indian, whatever the fuck. But, like, some people got it the worst. Like, yo, black people, <laughs> the one thing about niggas, yo, it's all good. Like, it's, it's most of, like, like, it was all good until, like, someone said something that was, like, like, yo, nigga, what did you say? And the, sometimes the kid would back off, but sometimes the kid would double down, and then that's when he gets snuffed, right? I knew some, I, I went to school with a, with a, with an Asian guy. This guy had the, this guy could... He had the best punch in the school. So you couldn't really make Chinese jokes <laughs> at the school like that. <laughs> Trust me, he's snuff man for doing that shit. So you couldn't really make Asian jokes like that, you know what I mean? Unless he didn't fuck with that, like whatever. I'm not going to go into that. Um, well, didn't fuck with that person, you know what I mean? But can't really make Asian jokes because you get snuffed. But like everything else kind of flew. Um, black jokes flew too, but like only we could make the black jokes. It was weird. But, but, but niggas, we roasted everybody. But that's what I didn't understand. Yo, niggas roasted everybody. It didn't matter who you were, where you were, who you're from, where you be. Dog. We roasting you, dog. Dog, one time, <laughs> like, this is just a quick schoolyard story. One time I'm fucking, um, I'm at school, I'm at home. My mom shows up with a payless bag. And now I know, like, the value of shit, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe she just got me some, like, inconspicuous shoes, like, they look good, but they're not really a brand, so I can wear them, and, like, no one would really be like, oh, those aren't, like, no one can really roast them, because they don't really know what the fuck the shoe is. This woman got me a four-stripe Adidas shoe. <laughs> Fam, four-stripe Adidas. Four stripes. 
I'm gonna call this episode Four Stripe Adidas. Like, like, yo, I was like, dude, what the fuck? So I told her, I was like, yo, I'm gonna get made fun of because this is like grade six, grade six, grade seven. No, this is grade seven. So grade seven now, you kind of on my lips. You kind of like you're more self conscious, more self aware because those hormones are starting to kick in. Not ho- did I say hormones? Hormones. <laughs> Those hormones are starting to kick in. Once those hormones start to kick in, you're more self-aware. I think that's what. I think that's what made. I think that's what Eve ate. And I have another rant about that, by the way. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that in the notes. I have a rant about that too. Oh yeah, you already know. This is episode 102, baby. So, um. Yeah, isn't I think the apple made them self-conscious or something? Because at first they were like naked in heaven, but then they ate the apple, made them more self-conscious and da 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 And that kind of like poisoned us because now we're more selfish. Instead of looking around, we're more self-aware. You know? And then some shit like that. I'm not going to butcher it. I'm not trying to butcher it. Anyways, you become more self-aware is what I'm trying to say, is what I'm alluding to. I was just trying to see if there was an origin for it. And I was thinking like maybe that's the origin. I don't know. So you're more self-aware. And... Since you're more self-aware about things, you're more like, um, let me see, let me see like what I could wear to it. You start, you start to like girls, you start to like, for women, you start to like guys, blah, 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 blah. so you're more self-aware. Girls will start doing their hair more come when they come to school, they'll do their own hair. You know what I mean? Because the styles change. Like you can't have your mom that grew up in the 70s and 80s doing your hair when it's in the 90s now, unless she's like sick with it. And she knows about style, but some people end up doing their own shit. You know what I mean? They come with their own style, the baby hairs and shit. And, you know, men, we start getting lineups and like, you know, like that's what happens. Like this is like grade seven, grade eight. That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? So when I pulled up with the four stripe Adidas, my Adidas, I pulled up with four stripes and I'm like, I need to do something. Now I watched eight mile and I did the eight mile technique. I didn't think it would work. But that shit worked wonders, bro. I was literally at school. The moment I pulled up, I walked in there. The moment someone just looked down at my feet, I'm like, yeah, bro. Yo, my mom got me some four-stripe Adidas, yo. She thought they were real Adidas. And niggas would start laughing. I'm like, yo, look at this shits, bro. I don't give a fuck about these, bro. You can step on them if you want. I don't care. Like, I was literally roasting the shit out of these shoes. I'm like, I'm just wearing them because I have to wear them. Da, 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 da. Roasting. I'm wearing them for like... A month, but I like I trash those shoes. I made sure to trash them, trash them. And then when I got new shoes, my older bro bought me shoes. And now your older bro is gonna hook it up. He's not gonna go cheap. <laughs> your dad and your mom are gonna go cheap. Your older brother, he's gonna be like, nah, you can't let him go out like that. Give him some Nikes. Give him some Adidas, actual Adidas. And I got actual Adidas after that. Give him, get him some Jordans. Get him something. And then your older bro usually has a little bit of extra money if he's old enough, you know? If he's like five years plus, three years plus, usually has extra money. Yo, here, buy yourself some shoes, bro. Here's some money. Go buy yourself some shoes. Or let's go shoe shopping. You know what I mean? So anyways, for my Velma rant, that is about it. You could have made it like that. You could have made it college and you could have figured it out. But y'all need to go back to the drawing board on that. Y'all need to go back to the drawing board on that. Because that's just stupid, bro. I'm really like, I'm, re- I'm really trying to understand, like, the logic. Because there's no logic. It's almost like I'm doing this and I don't care because I'm already high profile in Hollywood. So my idea... See, the one thing I never, ever, 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 ever want to happen to me is to be stuck in a, such a fucking bubble where I can't really have... My, not my own vision, where my own vision can get in the way of my own self. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's a bar. I don't give a fuck what you say. My own vision can get in the way of my own self. That's a fucking bar. That's a bar. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. You get what I'm saying, though? Because to me, it's like if you're stuck in this Hollywood bubble for all these years... You're not as well connected as you were when you were in the fuck when you were in college in like 
the nineties or the early two thousands where shit was getting more social and, and people were more vocal about s- socialism and all that shit. Actually, no, not really. It started to come. Okay, this is all I'm saying. When you're out of tune with society and like the original concepts of certain things and you have a vision for something, sometimes it's not going to work out when you try to combine them together. You should have made a brand new show. If you made a brand new show, it probably would have been hilarious. People would have people would have laughed. People would have been like, yo, this show's actually okay. But because you base the show off of original characters that people love, you're getting trash for it. And that's what you, that's what's basically happening. Now there's nothing that I can do or say about that shit. But the only thing oh, I already said enough, but the only thing I'm gonna say is Get your shit together, man. Stop trying to use your fucking past bullshit traumas that you... Well, not bullshit traumas. Your past, like, things that you can't get over and you're just putting it into a script. And it seems, like, personal. It doesn't seem like... It's like no one really... The only people that go through this seems like someone... The person that wrote it. You know what I mean? Like, the person that wrote it. Like, no one really goes through this shit. Like, you know what I mean? And why didn't you make, like, ugh. Anyways, I'm done with that. Fuck that. I was, she got too much of my time, man. Fuck that shit. Action. We back at it. We back at it. Sorry, YouTube fam. I cut you guys out. Can't play the music. I keep getting copywritten. I gotta, I'm trying to get these fucking, trying to get these shits monetized and ting ling lings you know? Did I say ting ling lings Yes, I did, biatch. Anyways. Um... What we're going to discuss for today is, is the, um, oh yeah, in, in like very, uh, depressing, actually, should I, should I say it now or should I wait till a little bit later? What do you guys think? Cause, all right, fine. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fine. We're going to do something very lighthearted, okay? Now, if y'all are watching, if y'all are watching YouTube, I'm going to show the video. I mean, not to show the video, I'm going to show the picture, okay? This nigga right here, y'all can see, hold on. Let me put it to the camera. See that, see that soccer player? This nigga won eggs. He won a tournament and he gave him five crates of eggs. So now I went down this rabbit hole of what the fuck these, some of these, and this is like obviously Africa or something like that. So I went down this rabbit hole just to see like, uh, who's getting these shitty ass fucking prizes. And it's, he's not the only one. This guy, what's his name? Nicolaj says, I once won milk, combine, combine this. He's like, I once won milk. Oh, you can't even see it that proper. Uh, yeah, that's the milk. Oh, you can't even see it proper. Can you? Yeah, I can't even see it proper. Hey, don't be, don't be, don't be looking at my phone like that too. Yeah, it's a fucking Android. Go suck your mother. Okay, this guy got eggs. Now this one, this guy got chancletas. He gave him chancletas. Here you go. All right, this nigga got. This nigga got seasoning, but it looks like he got a check too, and it looks like there's some Arab thing in the in the back, like like Arab like Arab language. So they they're not that cheap. They probably gave him that some oil. Oh yeah, because they're sponsored by it, and then they gave him a check. It looked like they gave him a check. This nigga got man of the match. Got this. Like god damn. Like. These Dio, these fam, don't give me anything. Are you gonna give me bread and some pink? Like what the fuck, bro? Is and I don't know what what this is, but I think this is like a football tradition. I think where they like fuck with you and they give you like a shitty prize. I don't know what it is, but I'd be cheesed. I would be hella cheese. Okay, so yeah. In other news, they're apparently they're gonna drop a docu series chronicalizing the rise of Black Twitter. I want my check. I want my coins. <laughs> y'all should yo like 
Y'all are trying to capitalize off of anything, bro. Black Twitter. Okay. No, like seriously, like black Twitter. That's your thing. That's that's what that's okay. Alright. Alright, nigga. So we're gonna talk about 21 Savage. And then we're gonna get into the other stuff. This nigga 21 Savage. Should I even play it? No, I don't wanna play it because this nigga yelling on he's yelling on the on the thing, bro. So what 21 Savage said, he goes, yo, I don't appreciate you niggas. <laughs> Actually, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> Basically, not verbatim, but... What's the word called? Not verbatim, but like... Um, um, parentheses or... To summarize... There we go. To summarize... He's talking to a bunch of niggas from Chicago. The Chicago niggas telling him, Yo, you aren't really out here. Savage is like, yes, I was. You niggas weren't really out here. Then they keep going about, are you calling me a bitch? Are you calling me a bitch? Or would you say that to my face? Would you say that to my face? And then the nigga kept going off. He kept talking over 21. 21 got mad. He said, hey, man, every time we, we da 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 every time we have beef, 30 of them niggas die and nothing happens to us. Now, that's where I was like, 21, can you do something for me? Can you not fucking snitch on Clubhouse for me? Like, what are you doing? No, seriously. You know Atlanta's giving out Ricos like it's fucking, like it's fucking cafeteria food at a fucking nice, rich, affluent school. Like, why would you even say that? And, like, it's not like you... I know you're not with the streets like that. I know you, you know niggas, and I know you move different now. But nigga, they can bring up some murders and bodies from like fucking years ago because there's no statutes of limitations on that shit and drop them on you, bro. Chill out. You're making millions of dollars. You're on top of the world. Don't let niggas get into your head, brother. And I know Drake dropped that video the next day just to get the attention off of 21 Savage because Drake's a real nigga like that. 100%. Hundred percent. And Drake, you're petty, dog. You bought all of Pharrell's shit because Pharrell and Pusha T are like this. So you bought all of Pharrell's shit so you could flaunt it in the video. You petty, dog. You petty. I see you. I see you. Hey, man. He's Toronto. We gotta rep Toronto. When he's doing that shit with Pusha T, though. Here's the thing. When one of my like when one artists I fuck with, it has beef. <laughs> With an artist that I also fuck with, I don't pick sides at that point. I go, all right, man, y'all niggas go on. Like when the locks, <clears throat> like when Jada, like when the locks were getting at 50 Cent, you think I was saying, man, fuck the locks? Hell no. Hell no. I grew up on them niggas too. That's just like rap beef. They're just rapping. They're not, they're not, nothing real is going to happen. And then Fat Joe, that was a little bit. I wasn't really bumping because me, yo, the one thing was back in the day as a fan, when when your favorite artist is beefing with another artist, you don't fuck with that other artist. And usually their sales go down. No one buys their CDs. Other uh, people end up buying the other CD if they fuck with the other person more. So that's where beef sell people people are like beef sells, you know what I mean? But nowadays you don't have to really do that. But anyways. Anyways. I usually tend to be like, you know what? I'm staying out of it. I'm going to listen to your diss song. I'm going to listen to your diss song. I'm going to listen to his diss song. And I'm going to sit back and hopefully you guys squash it. And they did squash it because they're real niggas. So obviously, they squashed it. So that happened. And honestly, you don't have to let niggas get in your head, as I said before. You're 21. You are 21 Savage. You had an amazing year this year. And your shit, you, you, didn't, you didn't really have to do shit until, like, obviously the music you made, you're working on that shit the whole year. And then when, when the time was ready, boom, you guys dropped. Right? That's amazing. Because then, cause then now, you're, now you're on top of the world. You're doing DJ Academics podcast. You're doing this. And now, now I don't know if you own Clubhouse, if you have a stake in Clubhouse or something, but I don't know why you're on... A Fed app. I think Clubhouse is for is like a Fed app. Like I know there are bots on there that are recording every fucking Clubhouse conversation that could have potential 
criminality in there. I know those rooms that like WAC 100 are in, that 21 Savage are in, Charleston White are in. I know those rooms that they're in. I know there's fucking a police officer, hip hop police, a snitch, or so someone's in there. Someone's in there lurking, ready to, ready to. Hello, hello. Um, can I speak to um, you know what I mean? Like niggas be snitching. Damn, see where that word these the wrong way. Damn, y'all caught that on camera. But yeah. Like, that's literally how it goes. That's literally how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like us as a people. Yeah. I feel like us as a people, we need to we need to stop trying to one-up each other when it comes down to bodies, beef. Am I a bitch? That would you say that to my face? Off the phone, my nigga? Anyone's? Yo, if I'm yelling at a nigga and I don't know where the nigga's at, <clears throat> let's put it like this. Do you know how many niggas... Do you know how many people talk shit online, like in video games and like, bro, I know niggas that be like, yo, I'll fucking kill you. These, these niggas ain't killers, bro. I'll kill, I'll fucking kill you. I'll kill your mom and rape her. And like niggas are saying that shit. Sorry, guys, but niggas are saying that shit online and nothing happens to them. You understand what I'm saying? Like on the phone, when you're online on the phone, you can talk all that shit that you want, especially if the person is not in the same fucking city as you. You can talk all that shit. Now, when if someone's in the same city as you and you keep putting your name in, in their, you put putting your name in your mouth, you keep putting their name in your mouth, that's a whole different story. You know what I mean? Me, I try to have a tendency to like not be disrespectful. And I'm gonna say a disclaimer. I'm this is all satire and this is all comedy. Now, if I say something, I'm a backtrack. If I say something wrong and it gets picked up later on and y'all niggas start fucking throwing a throwing a frank, throwing a fit, I'm gonna be like, hey, at the end of the day, end of the day, I don't it's not I don't care. I apologize for it. I haven't been saying that shit ever, ever since. One thing that I'm really trying to grasp, and I'm really trying to understand, is that why do people wait until the motherfucker is on to say some shit that that person did to you in the past? Like, and it's some weird, I think it's weird because you didn't say anything ever. You probably mentioned it to your girls and da da da, but like, you didn't say anything to anybody. You didn't contact authorities. You didn't try to get that person beat up. You didn't try to get... You, nothing happened to that person. That person is doing whatever they want. Now they're hustling. They're thriving. They moved on with their life. They probably improved off their behavior. Now you want to bring up some type of like weird allegation. Now, I'm not talking about... And when I say weird allegation, I'm not talking about sex. Nope. It's not what I'm talking about. Because so, yes, that shit happens. But a lot of us before fame, we weren't really fucking like that. So if you're out here fucking and fucking a bunch of women and shit, and then you become famous, I'm telling you, one girl's going to have a fucked up story about you that she's going to say when she gets some clout. Me, I did my thing, but I didn't do my thing, my thing like that. Still do my thing, but I'm not, I'm not out here trying to like, it's not, it's not that serious for me. You know what I mean? So, end of the day, that's just, that's just how it goes end of the day so um the weird allegation i was speaking of this one guy he became a chef online and like he was like he was making all these like videos of like him cooking like oxtail and this and this and everyone's liking him even like girls are feeling him like oh my god i like your recipe right <laughs> guess what someone said ah, 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 ah. now when I seen, I seen the tweets, I, I don't know if I could find it because this was like weeks ago, but like the tweets where I was like, God damn. Like, okay, at first I thought he was just trolling, but I think he was trolling, right? But he was like, it was like, mm, I don't know. But he was basically like saying like, there's one tweet where like there was a picture of a light skinned girl and a dark skinned girl. And then he'd be like, oh, the... Yeah, and he'd be like, oh, the light skin looks better than the dark skin. And there's another pic, same shit. 
he goes, the dark skin ruined the pick. She shouldn't be wearing that bikini. Even though the dark skin girl looked prettier than the light skin girl. But he's just, and like anytime like someone posts some shit, like, oh my God, beautiful black chocolate, blah, blah, blah. He would be like, ew, da, da, da. Like, like, he would do shit like that. Now, when I started to see all those fucking tweets, before I thought it was just one, two tweets. And I'm like, oh, this nigga's just trolling. But when I started to see like he was, he made it like a shtick. He made it like a niche to like get on type of shit. I looked at him like, and then he started cooking. So he kind of like, I think, I think he started cooking and shit. So he like switched his shit around and shit. And he started to like remodel his shit. And then people were like, yo, who is this guy? And then someone went, ah, 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 I remember him. I know who that is. Da, 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 da. And then they exposed him. Now, to me, at first, I thought it was weird, right? I know, I'm not flip-flopping off my point. I still think it's weird for you to see someone that's on and for you to try to find something in their past and expose them about that. I don't know if that nigga was just trolling and that was just a thing that he was doing just to be like, yeah, I'm funny, but even though it's not funny, that shit is not funny. I'm just saying that. Making, someone, making fun of someone's physical appearance is not really funny to me. Unless it's fucking blatant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's some rough looking motherfuckers out here in this world. I'm just saying. If it's blatantly obvious, I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to be like, uh, nigga. And if someone says something, you know what I'm going to do? I might do a <laughs> and, <clears throat> and walk away or like, <clears throat> because it's blatantly obvious. Like if you see if you and I'm not talking about a girl's a girl's natural face or a guy's natural face, I'm talking about a motherfucker that just got so much shit going on in the face that it makes them ugly. For example, I've met I've met I met a girl before, and that sounded weird. I met a girl before. I met this girl before. There we go. I met this girl before, and. We were, you know, we were vibing, talking, da da da, fam, beautiful. My nigga, I seen her like two, three years later, like at a bar or some shit. Yo, fam, fam. She looked completely fucking different, bro. When I say completely different, you know how like girls would like change their look. Still look the same, still look nice, or even if they change it like drastically, they still look like them. Like girl that used to have long hair, she goes bald, still looks nice. You know what I mean? Or a girl that had clean face gets like a piercing on her nose or like piercing. You know what I mean? Now when y'all go overboard, and I'm not talking just, and I'm, I'm talking about like she went overboard. Like I'm talking about over fucking board. I'm talking about she looked like she had alopecia. But she didn't. She just did it just to do it. I don't know what the fuck's going on in her life. And then on top of that, she fucking, she fucking like pierced her cheeks, right? I'm like, all right, whatever. Septum, here, here, septum, septum, nostrils, the fucking bridge of your nose, right? Obviously, you got to get the eyebrows now. Then you got to get the eyebrow that's like in right by your fucking inner, inner fucking nose, while you have that, then you get the cheek piercings. You can get a bunch of cheek piercings. She got a bunch of those. Then she got she got the dimple piercings. She got the the one under pause, the one underneath your tongue, and the one eh, and the uh, and then the uh, and then the uh, and I'm like, holy fuck, bitch! How many piercings do you have? And then like obviously the ones on the body, like whatever, like do your thing. But, like, all those piercings, she's like, I have, like, 18 piercings on my face, tatted it up a bit, changed her hair style, everything. Her hair went from, like, looking, like, just regular, normal, like, oh, she does her hair type of shit, to, like, I'm doing something drastic so people can just look and stare at me and be like, what the fuck is that? That's literally what it turned into. And I was like, that is what I don't fucking get. That's when I draw the line. Anyways. That's where I draw the line a little bit. Because, like, ah, oh, I'm not into that, man. I was raised, like, East African Muslim. Like, I am not used to see. Like, I'm used to seeing it. But to, like, to, like, date it, I don't know. I don't think I could do that. 
like does it, I'm not, and it doesn't matter about culture or whatever like he, she she could still have culture and shit she could still have whatever but like once you turn into like a spirit animal and shit like I'm okay I'm like all right man I'm done I'm I'm going home because it's too much for my brain it's just too much. Now we're getting to a point where like it's get, becoming too much with this shit. You know what I mean? Anyways, so oh shit, I was going in on ah oh, fuck. I think I forgot what I was getting into. Women, men, drastic change, and if they change, oh yeah, the Twitter thing. So yeah, I was just gonna say like yo. <clears throat> that guy I, it's weird to bring up some shit from the past that the person said and try to use it against them to try to damage what they have going on currently or you know what i mean she's trying to throw a wrench in his shit because she didn't like what he said and because she didn't like what he said hey guys look what he said you still like him now like that's literally what it is now you clearly probably don't like the guy so you just Say that to yourself, yo, I don't like this guy, bro. Look what he did, da 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 right? But you don't have to be like, hey, guys, let's expose him, and da 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 Because now, you're opening up. The same ridicule he was giving those girls is the same ridicule he's going to get from y'all now, right? So the same feeling that y'all felt when he was saying that shit, y'all are giving him that same fucking feeling. Instead of teaching him a lesson and educating him. Now, I know there's probably some black women... That went in his DMs and they educated his ass. Those are the sisters that I love. They don't make a they don't make a fuss. Or not. Yo, let me check this nigga. Those those women, yo, let me check this nigga women. Those women are the women that I fucking love, bro. I'ma check you. I don't give a fuck who you are. You said some foul shit. I'ma check you. And if, go ahead, check me. One thing I won't tolerate is someone yelling in my face though. But women have a tendency to like, if they want to prove a point, they start raising their voice and yelling in your face and shit. So that sometimes you just have to take that and walk away. But when a motherfucker be, you know what I'm saying? When a motherfucker be, uh, what's the word? Oh, fuck. Yeah, when a, when a girl's like, yo, I'm going to check this nigga, that's who I fuck with. Because you have to check these niggas. Some of these niggas... Don't, they don't care. They're going to say some foul shit about... Because, yo, at one point in time... And I'm not really like... It's not about exposing secrets. This is a known thing. A lot of black women thought... A lot of black women... This is I'm talking about early 2000s to like... To like 2010. A lot of darker-skinned women did not feel as pretty as the lighter-skinned women. And it was a whole thing. And then online social media, light skins versus dark skins and shit, that made it worse. Right, so a lot of a lot of like black women that are that are darker skin were they had they were envious or envy I don't know if it's envious or jealous or both towards the light skin girls. Then the light skin girls they were a little bit envious because they're like, well y'all are hating on us because apparently we look better than y'all. But wait, I we like your skin though. We like your skin tone. We like how your skin looks and da 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 da. But then if you're saying fuck us, then fuck you. And then it just turned into a whole thing. And then it turned to light-skinned men versus dark-skinned men. If you're a dark-skinned guy, you're tough. If you're a light-skinned guy, you're soft. That's literally what happened. That's like the Drake, when Drake first started, that, that period of time. That's literally what was happening. And to me, I was like, what the fuck are you guys on? What's with this light-skinned, dark-skinned bullshit? We're all black at the end of the day. If you can say nigga out in public, you're black. Fuck this light skin, dark skin. That, and you know, like, do you guys know? There's a book. The, the, I, I keep saying this shit. Book or whatever that theory is called, the William Lynch theory. Y'all know what that shit was. Divide and conquer. Divide these people. The only way you can divide these people, hey, bro, if you're lighter skin, I'm going to treat you better than the darker skin person. That's literally what it is. If you're lighter skin, I'm going to treat you better than the darker skin person. If you're just plain white, I don't care if you're Irish anymore. You know what? Let the Irish in. I don't care if you're Irish or whatever. I think I don't think it was just the Irish people, but I know it was the Irish and black people that were not allowed to do a lot of shit, right? But then they revolted. 
So the Irish and the blacks came together and revolted, burned the whole town down and shit. They were revolting. People were getting murdered and shit. So then they created a law where, hey, if you're just white, you're good. And we'll give you a house. We'll da 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 da. They pussied out and started giving, you know what I mean? They started like, hey, we'll help you out. Da da da. And you're, you're no longer a third class citizen. You're, you're, you're a first class citizen now. A lot, of, a lot of them Irish people, they turned their backs on us. And they're like, oh, yo, we're over there now. So now it's us just by ourselves doing this shit. Now, I'm not saying it's all Irish. I'm not saying that. But that's what happened. What do you, you know what I mean? And like, there's this whole thing about, I don't know, I think it's Northern Ireland, so Southern Ireland. I think South Ireland is is like completely like liberal. Like it's, they love niggas. But Northern Ireland, I heard, if you go to Northern Ireland as a nigga and try to start some shit or try to nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's like going to China, being a nigga, trying to start some shit. Like there's certain countries that you can't really go to. Like you can go to them being black, but you got to make sure that you know people that are there and you got to make sure you know the laws and you got to keep your head on a swivel, bro. And it's not just about being black. It's just like, period. I don't know, this whole light-skinned, dark-skinned thing. Like, you guys know the William Lynch theory, right? Divide, conquer. So that's what happened. And then now all of a sudden, now it's just, what are we doing now? It's just us, right? And now we're bickering over fucking relationship advice. And I thought we were going to be done with this fucking sh dumb shit with relationships, by right, man. I thought we were going to be done. I personally thought we were going to be done with these tweets. I'm done with this shit, bro. I'm done with the... Okay, Um, if a man does this, then that... Okay, here's how I'm going to break it down. And I want you guys to hear me clearly. A man, right? A man, a man, should not... Right? Let's keep it real. God damn my lips are dry as hell. I am. Sorry, guys. Should have wore a mask. <laughs> so, if two individuals get into an altercation, before we blame what group of person that person's from, let's assess the situation. What happened? Well, a dude smacked his chick. What's the context? Well, let's put it like Dana White. What's the context? Well, his wife smacked him, so he smacked his wife, and he smacked his wife like three times. Not fucking condoning any of that shit. Right? That's the context, right? Now, these are two individuals that have been married for a long time. They've been pushing, putting hands on each other. They, come on, man. This modern society, is, we try to act like there's no fucking fights and arguments in a fucking relationship. Like, like there's no, there, there's no way that that the the stepfather or the my bad, the husband is not gonna put hands on his wife like like shake her or like her the 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 wife is not gonna fucking smack him one day. Like shit's gonna happen. There's gonna be a day we all gonna get tired of each other. Y'all gonna get argue. Someone's gonna get smacked. Right. It happens. We can't act like all these relationships are just fucking flowers and sugar and milk and honey, bro. It's not what it is. Shit happens in relationships. So we can't really look at it like... You should, look, you should never put your hands on your significant other. But there's so many... 70% of these fucking relationships that are out here, these niggas is putting hands on each other. Both of them. Man and woman. And that blue face and Christian, Krayshawn fucking show... That show is promoting domestic violence to men and to women. Mostly men. They're making it okay. Yo, if I get into a relationship and I and I start beating on my man and I start posting it online, I can get on too. They're giving people ideas that they don't need to fucking have. Like, I don't understand. Never put your hands on a woman. Never put your hands on a man. Walk away. Walk away, take a deep breath, come back and talk about it. If it still escalates, hey, yo, t we'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll talk about this tomorrow. 
And if you're you're fucking because significant others being adamant about no, we gotta talk now, we gotta talk now. You know what you do? You go, hey, yo, I'm gonna go get a hotel or I'm gonna leave or I'm gonna sleep on the couch, and we're talking about this tomorrow. I'm not talking about it right now. Tensions are high. Something's gonna happen. I don't want to talk about this right now. We'll talk about it tomorrow. That's how you assess. And if the person's still so in your face and pointing in your face trying to provoke you, that's when you can see when a guy will be like, yo, and like grab her and be like, yo, leave me alone. Or push her, be like, get out my face. Or walk away. Oh, you're a coward. You're a bitch. You're the... like, you know what I mean? Or the same thing with the girl. The girl's like, I don't want to talk about this. Nah, bitch, you gonna talk about it right now. Toxic relationships, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, we need to stop looking at it as two individuals had a problem. We need to assess the situation, right? I just went on a tangent, but two individuals, they have a problem. You got to assess the situation. What are the facts, right? Dana White smacked his wife. His wife smacked her. I mean, his wife smacked her. So he got, she got smacked back. Who knows what the fuck happened, right? Now, they've been married for a long time and all that shit. So, it, since they got caught online, Dana White has no choice but to apologize. Now, this is how you know that it was just like a little altercation. It wasn't supposed to be that serious. One, they were drinking. And I, I hate when people say, you can't blame alcohol. Yes, you can. <laughs> when you drink too much, what happens? You black out. If I black out and I do some dumb shit, and I do something wild when I black out. Is that really me? Or is that just me doing some dumb wild shit because I blacked out and I have no fucking, no recollection, no nothing of in my head about anything I've done. And I wake up the next day like, yo, what happened? And nigga's like, yo, you fucking wilded out last night. Oh shit, I don't remember. And then let's say you did something stupid to someone and you go, oh shit. My bad. I didn't remember. Or I don't remember. Da, da, da. You can not You can blame it on the fucking alcohol if you don't remember. Just next time, don't fucking drink too much. But you can blame it on the alcohol. You can blame it on the drugs. You can blame it on whatever the fuck. If you are fucking sober and you're doing some foul shit, if you only had a few drinks and you're doing some foul shit, I'm talking if you're inebriated, your alcohol level's high, you can't even... That's what I'm talking about. But anyways, so I was going to say, two people, Right? The alcohol is involved. That's a variable. These are facts. They've been together for a long time. Chances are they've been put hands on each other. Hundo P. Which is why it was easy for him, her to smack him. Easy for him to smack her. Right? Easy. If they met each other like three, four years ago, and they just started dating, and that woman smacked him, Dana White would have smacked the shit out of her. Because he, he get, it looked like he gave her like, you know, like light ones. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that shit. And then, you know what I mean? Like, he was kind of like that. But anyway, I'm not trying to condone it. But I'm saying, it's like little like little light ones. You know what I mean? So, like, so I don't know if there are light ones, actually. I don't know. The video, if you watch the video, like, I've seen the video. But, like, I, from my recollection, I'm going to be, I'm going to say they were hard ones. But compared to, like, what he would do if he just, like, met the girl type shit. You know what I mean? But he met if he just met the girl and the girl slapped him and he's inebriated. But he's been with this woman before. He smacked her before. She smacked him before. Why do you think it's so easy for her to smack him in public? Because they've done it before. They probably smack each other all the time. Right? So anyways, when people start to say when people start to pull out the card, right? Of when people start to make it racial that's what I'm talking about. They made it racial. They made it, how come white people can slap their wives back and forth and then nothing happens to them? There's no consequences. But then, first off, the wife did not file charges. Second off, the wife hit him first. It's on camera. Third off, the nigga apologized to everybody and everything. All right, let's keep getting this money. That's what he did. He squashed it right then and there. People are like, so how come if a black man did it, like uh, they're like Ray Rice and they're like, yo, some of these niggas knock their wives out. They beat the shit out of their wives. Dana White just gave his wife a couple of ta-ta. You know, a couple of skibbity paps. 
and then like brought her over to the corner like yo what, what's going on like what are you doing like you know what i mean we out here in public don't embarrass me <laughs> But yeah, I don't condone that shit. Period. But I'm saying, take the situation, assess it, and stop making it racial, bro. Because there's a lot of black people that get away with shit, too. We just we just don't see it that much. It's not highlighted as much. But we can't just be like... We can't just always make everything a race thing. Oh, how come? Because Dana White, Dana White is white, and he's rich, and he has black privilege. So that means that... Mel Gibson lost everything, bro. He didn't touch a finger. He just said some foul fucking shit. He lost everything. So we can't act like, how come if it's a white man, da, da, da. You guys are looking at one fucking example that happened. And then you're like, oh, how come the news is in it? Broski, the news covered it. It got covered, right? He addressed it and everyone shut the fuck up after he addressed it because he addressed it. Most of you niggas don't address shit. Y'all let the y'all let the online shit speculate, speculate. Then you guys do your little fucking posts, do your little, you know, your little posts, your little, um, what's the word called? Your little inside, you know, your little inside jokes, your little, what's that shit called? Like subtweets, posts, think pieces, bro. Call UFC if you really give a fuck. Call the UFC, send emails. And I'm pretty sure he got emails, he got calls. I'm pretty sure he got everything under the sun. If you are outraged, you go fucking try to do something about it. That's what my thing is. Going online screaming about injustice is not going to do anything about the injustice. The only thing you can do about the injustice is either acknowledge it. Yeah, you can speak on it, but to keep on fucking like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, beating a dead horse. Like, yo, bro, everyone else moved on. We got to move on. We have no choice. We don't have a choice. It happened. Whatever happened, happened. Right? No one's really making no noise because people like Dana White. He's a CEO. He's making... He's doing a lot. So... And you can't, you can't really lose... He can't really lose any brands because the sport is UFC. It's a bloody sport. And the brands that he's getting to sponsor him, they don't give a fuck about that shit. It was McDonald's. McDonald's would have pulled out. They'd be like, ah, oh, we got to pull out. There's probably our fucking certain companies that pulled out. And there's probably our certain companies that are like, hey, if they're pulling out, let us come in. Because the UFC is still going to generate money. still going to do anything long after Dana White. So, what do you want them to be? Suspended? Or usually it's... The only thing you can do is be like, yo, I apologize for my actions. And if they keep bringing it up, I apologize for my actions. That is, That's it. You did it. So now you have to keep apologizing for it. Cool. But we can't just make it look like it's black and white. <laughs> or like, a guy will do some shit. And then they'll be like, so a random guy will do some shit to a girl. They'll be like, see, men, da 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 No, no, no. That nigga's a piece of shit. Don't put me in with him. <laughs> I'm not with that nigga. That guy's a piece of shit. Don't fucking put me in with him. I ain't perfect. I ain't the best fucking person. Right? I'm not, but I'm not a fucking flying piece of shit. <laughs> I may say dumb shit and do dumb shit. But I ain't a piece of shit. <laughs> like, no. Y'all ain't getting me with that. Nope. Not today, Satan. Y'all ain't getting me with that. Y'all are not getting me with that. Anyways. Ugh, I think that was the last topic. It's already been an hour and something. Um, oh, I had one more, but I'm going to save that for next time. Anyways, man, as these other people like to say, bro, I was going to do an outro track, but, you know, we already went in for an hour, hour and 10 minutes, so you already know what to do, what it is. This was your boy, Dr. IBZ. Love, peace, happiness, success. Hope all you guys do your thing. Oh, yeah, shout out to Rich Diet. They're doing their own pod. And, um, yeah, you already know. We out of here, dog. Peace.